Hey, so if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with Zapier, the $5 billion automation startup that famously grew in the early days using programmatic SEO. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create programmatic SEO pages just like Zapier's. When you search for things like connect Google Sheets and Salesforce or connect Airtable and ClickUp, Zapier comes up first and they do that for hundreds of thousands of different pages. Today with Webflow, WhaleSync, and Airtable, I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing all with no code tools. It is actually pretty crazy that we can do this. With just a few tools, we can create hundreds or thousands of different SEO pages. I will caveat all of this with one little piece here, which is that despite it being really, really easy to create these pages using WhaleSync, it still takes SEO expertise for these pages to actually rank on Google. So today we'll cover how to create the pages, but keep in mind, you'll also need to work with an SEO expert to make sure that the pages actually rank. All right, so let's start on the Webflow side. As you can see here, we've got a Zapier template we've created. This is meant to mimic sort of the Zapier integration pages you've seen here. I'll link to it in the show notes, but essentially the first thing we're gonna to do to, to get this working is create two collections. So one is an integrations collection and the other is combinations. So integrations is gonna hold each of our individual integrations so Salesforce, Google Sheets, ClickUp, Airtable, etc. And we're gonna to need to create just a couple fields here. Color, so that's like the background color. We're talking about this over here for an integration. The trigger and action, so things like new record and create task. And then finally, the logo. Now, we can add a bunch more dynamic elements. This is just to give you an idea of how this all works. A similar idea for combination. So a combination is gonna be two integrations put together, and that is gonna make up a page. Every one of these combination pages will be one of our programmatic SEO pages. And so just as one example here, we've got Google Sheets plus Salesforce. That is gonna be essentially linking integration one and integration two. And then we're gonna add one more field as an H3 here, so we can put some dynamic content on the page. So that's how you set up the basic background here. The next thing we're gonna to need to do is just fill in dynamic elements. So in Webflow, you've got your, your typical static pages, and then you've got your CMS collection pages. These are template pages that we're gonna to use to create programmatic SEO. So let's come into the combinations template. Again, I filled this out a little bit on the design side. But the key thing here is to take some of these static elements, like images and headings, and input the dynamic elements that we have in our collections. So for this H3, let's click on settings, then get text, and then pick this H3 field. And this is basically saying, in our Google Sheets plus Salesforce collection item, use the H3 element in there, in that collection, and put it on this page. Similar idea for everything out here. I'll fill this out pretty quickly. But we'll take images, get it from combinations, and let's do integration one over here, and integration two over there. So now you can see the page coming together. I'm gonna to do the same thing for the rest of these fields. All right, there you have it. We have our Webflow page set up. So Webflow, as you saw, was amazing in letting us create a dynamic page that we can fill in with content. Now, if we wanted to just create one or two pages, this would be totally fine. We could do it all in Webflow. But the beauty of programmatic SEO is that you can create hundreds or thousands of pages. And that is exactly where Airtable comes in. So if we go over to Airtable, again, I have a template here, which I'll share in the notes. But basically what we're gonna do is copy the collections and the fields that we just set up in Webflow and do the same thing over in Airtable. So like I mentioned, we have an integrations collection and a combinations collection. We're gonna turn those into two tables in Airtable. And then each of these fields should seem really familiar. We've got name, slug, color, trigger, action, and logo. And that is where we're gonna house all of the different integrations that we have. On the combination side, same idea, name, slug, and then a linked record over to the two integrations, as well as that H3. Now, I'm using some formulas here that are nice. It's gonna create the name here for me, so I don't have to type in Google Sheets plus Salesforce you know, hundreds of times. It'll just pull this formula again, is just taking integration one, integration two, and making a name for us. Same for slug. Once we've set up the basics of this Airtable base, we can start to add in a little bit of data. So we have three integrations here. 
Over on the combinations page, we can start to create the actual combos. So we have Google Sheets and Salesforce. Let's do Google Sheets and ClickUp. And let's do the other combination, Salesforce and Sheets, Salesforce and ClickUp, and finally ClickUp, Sheets, ClickUp, and Salesforce. So you can see already we have just three integrations, but that's created six pages for us. When we start to add 25, 50, 100, or even 1,000 integrations, the combinations pages starts to explode. I won't bother on this video to fill out all the data here, but you can get a sense of whatever color, trigger, action, logo we put into this integrations page. That's what's going to show up on this Webflow template once we sync the two up. So these logos, right, are coming from Airtable. These triggers and actions, same with this H3, all the data that we're putting into this Airtable table is going to be synced into Webflow. The key with Airtable is just it allows us to manage all of these records in a really simple and easy to use place and use things like formulas and other automations to automate a bit of this process. All right, so once your Airtable base is set up, the last thing we need to do is just connect Airtable to Webflow. And the perfect tool to do that is WhaleSync. WhaleSync lets you easily sync data between Airtable, Webflow, Notion, Postgres, and other tools. And it's perfect for programmatic SEO because you can then use Airtable as this master database controlling and creating pages and those pages instantly get sent over to WhaleSync and then sent over to Webflow and created live for your audience. So here, let's go into WhaleSync. In WhaleSync, the first thing we're gonna do is create a new base and connect to Airtable. So we'll authorize here with an Airtable API key and a base sharing link. And once we've authorized Airtable, we'll just go ahead and save that connection. Now we're gonna do the same thing for Webflow, just authorize here, scroll down, pick your site, authorize that app, and quickly we're now connected to both Airtable and Webflow. The next step is mapping tables. So in WhaleSync, we basically need to tell WhaleSync what collections in Webflow we wanna to map to what tables in Airtable. And that's just as simple as saying the combinations table in Airtable maps to the combinations collection in Webflow. We can then set the sync direction. So if we wanted to sync just from Airtable to Webflow or vice versa, we could, but let's do two-way sync. That way, as we update data in either app, it'll sync to the other. Once we've mapped the tables, we'll now just need to map the fields. And so these should be pretty familiar. This integration one, for example, in Airtable is gonna map to the integration one field in Webflow. Same for all the other fields we talked about. You'll notice that WhaleSync has actually done this for us because all of the names are matching across these tools. But if we wanted to add new fields, you can do that here as well. The last step is just saving this space seeing this nice little animation that says we've correctly mapped our tables and fields and turning sync on. Once sync is on, you'll start to see this initialize and essentially whale sync is seeing all the records that are in air table and starting to sync them instantly over to Webflow. So if we come back over to Webflow and we refresh the page, we'll go from no items, no collections to all this data is here. We've got our ClickUp and Google Sheets integrations. Same with, check out a couple others here, Salesforce and ClickUps, right? All of that dynamic data, the logo, the H3 that's coming over from Airtable, because of WhaleSync, is synced instantly over into Webflow. And maybe just to show one more, if we come back over to our Airtable base and let's add Jira here, which I pre-filled before, we've got uh, Jira and let's come over to the combinations page and just to clean this up a little bit. Let's let's add uh, Jira and click up and maybe Jira and Salesforce and Let's just group these so you can start to see this a little bit So now you can see in our Airtable base for each integration. We have two other combination pages and we can even create more and so if we come back over to Webflow and refresh now we've got our Jira pages. And again, this is the beauty of Airtable Webflow plus WhaleSync. Webflow handles the front end and these dynamic pages. Airtable lets us collect all that data in an easy to use spreadsheet. And WhaleSync connects the two. So that instantly when you make updates in Airtable, it shows up in Webflow. Overall, programmatic SEO is a super powerful tool. 
that can let you rank for thousands of keywords instantly. Again, it does require SEO expertise to actually start ranking on Google, but the ability to just create these pages used to require teams of engineers to build and manage. As you can see, you can do this now with just a few no-code tools. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Until next time.